Hello guys. First of all, I shall apologise for any camera being shaking or not where it's supposed to be when I'm talking about this product because I'm still getting used to this camera. Okay, well I'm going to talk to you about the um, automotive digital multimeter with the induction pickup. Dad got me this for Christmas for our Maplin 60 to have a look at the box. And to be honest, from what I've seen, I've not been able to use all the functions yet because I don't have a car, nor a driving license. And as I'm trying, trying to be a mechanic, I'm pretty much screwed. Anyway, from what I can tell, this is a bloody good multimeter. My dad, being an electrical engineer himself, well, retired now, said back in the day when he was playing with cars, he would have loved to have got hold of this. It does the usual DC, doesn't do AC, surprisingly. It does 10 amps. But then it goes on to doing frequency, RPM, resistance, diode checks, ohms, and then it does dwell angles. So obviously the RPM and dwell angle and possibly frequency, not too sure, never really touched on that subject yet, is the automotive side. I'll just flick over you can see you've got a nice bright clear readout I think he paid 22 maybe 21 pound for this I'm not too sure you get it in the bump case like this but he said it was really surprising for the money the leads you get is the standard probes and covers them there well well protected I'll give them that you get your crocodile clip style then you get your induction pickup that goes over HT lead then just gets shoved into your multimeter multimeter this Maplin's one come with a 9 volt battery already installed in the back comes with a 10 amp fuse mm, no much more I can say really um, that's the spec, but then if you're looking into this, it's um, well, don't know what hand signal going shaking. Um, you can find it on the Maplin's website and then pick it up from your local Maplin's. But I do think it is it's a good product for the money to be honest it really is I uh, don't know how long it's going to be in stock because now in Maplin's the way they like to do stuff is they find a good product that's selling that people like or sort of a product they people don't really know about and then bugger off um, one thing I'm surprised about is a dwell angle it does three cylinders five cylinders six cylinders and eight cylinders, or obviously four cylinders that I just missed off. I'm surprised it doesn't do two cylinders and single si cylinders for motorbike users. Um, I asked my dad about it, and he said that a few old cars used to have three cylinders, but I didn't think there was that many. He s Saab was one of them, apparently. But modern days, yeah, three cylinders are coming back, but you wouldn't really use dwell angle on modern Igni spark ignition engines four cylinders yes five cylinders mm, not too sure back with points and condensers and all that lot six cylinder and eight cylinder yes but I'm very surprised one cylinder and two cylinder is not on there personally I would like to have seen that on there not that I'd probably use that function because I'm not into motorbikes well I'm into motorbikes but I can't ride them to save my life so that is it thanks for watching the um, multimeter is just a little rundown on it. I know this video, there isn't anyone else that's put a video up about it. Plain, boring, pretty much. So I thought I'd do a quick video. Uh, anyway, guys, you get that, that, that. This is all you get. In it, two sets of leads, and the one pickup, and of course the multimeter with an 9 volt battery installed. Anyway guys, 
Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, I'll try and answer them best I can. But better off going to Matt Plume's website and typing them in. There is a couple of questions on there. I would query some of the Matt Plume's guys for answering back out, admittedly. But other than that, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please rate and please subscribe. Thanks, guys.